Hello and welcome to a brand new video of GTA Global Techniques of Architecture. As discussed earlier, we are going to talk about unitized curtain wall. So, what is unitized? It is it is much more kind of a uh, suspense into students' fraternity that what is unitized and why is it of so so much importance. So, just would like to emphasize more on unitized because. It is a system because of which taller buildings, more than say 20 floors, 30 floors, execution on facades becomes much more easier, repetition becomes easier and the unit comes into plug and play module. So you, you just have to take one module, finish it off with your spandle, vision, spandle and just allow it to get installed into multiple forms. Of course, into this video, we are not going to cover the entire thing. This is unitized curtain wall video part one. So into this video, we are trying to understand number one, over the concept, how does it look different than conventional? How does it look different than semi-unitized? How does unitized look different than a normal uh, conventional pressure plate cover system okay over and above what we have, we will be understanding is that how it is installed and how it is assembled so stay tuned so the first system that we understood was conventional cap curtain wall so if you go and look at the system from inside what you see is only a box system only a box you directly see the glass, you see the pre, uh, cover cap because the pressure plate is inside the cover cap. So at the time of uh, just visiting the building, you would be just able to see the box. And if at all it's a semi-unitized system, it would be two boxes or say one box. Then there is a partition line. It can be with the help of a gasket. It can be a flush detail wherein it would be the same size of the main frame and the subframe. It can be, there can be a stepped one also. So step transom detail, we also call it. And at the same time, let me brief you about a unitized system. So if you look at the photograph, so this photograph specifically shows the male mullion. I have just cut some pieces of it and kept it for explanation. Of course, the system is different. It, it has an adapter into it. But into this system itself, that's the male part. We also call it positive part. Onto this part, we, we anchor the entire thing uh, at the time of fixity at site. So at site, during the installation, the best part about unitize is you don't see any loose components. Whatever we see at site is a finished product. So the QA, QC headache is minimized. Into unitized system alone and only you can be seeing a watertight system. Into unitized alone you can see a perfectly groove on the exterior as well as interior. So next time when you visit any of the commercial and you can find a fine groove of 10 mm or 15 mm or 12 mm into all the mullions, that would be a unitized system. So first understand the concept. So that was the, uh, the first was the male part. Then comes the female part or say the negative part, these are together held with the help of proper gaskets. Now with tightening up of specifications, they are silicon gaskets or say EPDM gaskets with the help of which the water tightness and the air infiltration is perfectly achieved. At the same time, at the same time, this also creates a barrier effect. So there are multiple uh, companies into system module, system supply. 
wherein they call it two barrier system three barrier system four barrier system so this with this thought of being compartmentalized with the help of these gaskets and called as barriers i leave this part of the video as part 1 into part 2 we would be learning about the actual assembly how does this get gets gets assembled at factory and how does it comes to the site and how it is getting actually installed so for looking at that and uh, learning how deeply we can go into a unitized system stay tuned to this channel called gta thanks for watching